Gang, 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 what's the deal, man? Hey, it's y'all big brother, man. Y'all number one YouTuber, Big Nina Boy, and we back like cook crack, nigga. What's happening? Hey, so listen, catch this game, though, man. Shout out to the supporters, man, real fast. Shout out to the coalition. Um, sometimes some men come off too nice. You see what I'm saying? Everything she say, you just constantly understand. You never got no advice for See, women look for a man that's going to call her out on her bullshit. See, that's what women like. Certain type of men that's not scared to call her out on her bullshit, whether she right or wrong, because, you know, we're logical. Men are logical as fuck. Like, we see facts. You see what I'm saying? If you can see the facts that, because sometimes women act off of emotion and intuition and gut feeling. Um, see, sometimes, you know, a woman will detach herself from you or she will start falling back off you a little bit when she see you start doing like little boy shit. You see what I'm saying? Like lying over petty shit. You see what I'm saying? Or have lame ass excuses why you wasn't there on time. Um, Some women could be petty, homie. Some women, they know how to play the game. They say they don't, but they do. Like, women don't like weak men. I'ma just get that cracking with y'all right now. Um, you know, sometimes some of you dudes, man, you know, you opposed to be some, some certain type of way on the internet. You know what I'm saying? And she was attracted to that. And somewhere down that line, nigga, you got too comfortable. You see what I'm saying? You start confessing your feelings to her too fast. You start to be always up under her. Um, women need they space. You see what I'm saying? Um, you started to be too available for her. You see what I'm saying? You lo you're no longer a mystery to her. You see what I'm saying? That's probably why she's not calling you like that. She know where you at. She know what you doing. She know who you hang around. She know what they do. You done told her about everybody in your circle, your crew. She know everything about you. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're signing your life over to her. Sometimes women will, look, they will handle your ass. Don't get me wrong, man. Catch this guy. <clears throat> women will do what you allow them to do to you. You want to know why you always arguing with that girl? Because you allow it. You see what I'm saying? Um, because she can. Straight like that, though. You see what I'm saying? She's, oh, I ask questions and ain't nobody gonna stop me. That's what I'm gonna do. If you fuck with me, I'm asking you a million questions, nigga. And if it's, you don't got nothing to hide, answer it. See them sight games? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You gotta remember. You only a good man to a woman by what you do for her that consider you a good man. In they eyes. You a real man? Ain't no come between that. Um... A lot of women get combative with you when they're losing interest in you. Like, if that girl's always arguing with you, she don't really like you the way she used to like you. You see what I'm saying? In the beginning, you know, she kept her mouth closed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she figured out a way to approach you if she wasn't feeling whatever you said. You see what I'm saying? But now you ain't got to that stage where, you know, she always want to argue. She always want to fight. You see what I'm saying? Um... Uh, You losing that connection with her. She's no longer um, into you the same way she was. Um, see, men get comfortable, man. Code 102, never get comfortable. You see what I'm saying? It's a penal code to the game, man. Um, you know, in the beginning stages, it's just that lust, that I like you stages. But once that woman is able to figure you out, once she realizes your trigger points, what make you mad, what make you upset, you know what I'm saying, and how do you handle those situations? Because we know it's based off of emotion. If you're not managing your emotions, catch this game though, and she see that, she say certain shit to you that fuck your head up, every time she get into it with you, or she lose interest in you, She's losing attraction for you for number one because she no longer see you as that person you used to that you used to be with her. 
that's why a lot of them arguments come on, man. And I'm gonna do a topic about that. Why men always argue with their women. Cause some of that should be petty. Cause if she just met that new nigga, she ain't finna argue with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest. You know what I'm saying? You know in the beginning when y'all first talking and all that shit, she wanna put it down on you so she can lock in her position. She trying to seal the deal just as much as you. Don't get that twisted. Some women want to seal the deal. Like, oh, yeah, he fuck good, too. He got his shit together. Yeah, let me put this shit up on him. She sucking dick all night. She slapping her face with your dick and letting you come in her mouth. Fast forward. You 18 months in a relationship. So I don't really like sucking dick like that. Then why did you do it in the beginning? Oh, because I, I I was feeling you then, or whatever her reason is. Yeah, nigga, she is. Yeah, you remember you used to slap her with your dick and all that. And, uh, 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 she like, put it in my mouth, come in my mouth, daddy. You not coming in her mouth no more. What happened? What changed? We love you, Dior. These are signs that a woman will lose interest in you. You see what I'm saying? She starts to detach from you. She's starting to not see value in you. You see what I'm saying? When a woman don't see value in you, she, oh, them, 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 them special head treatments and shit like that, that's, that, that shit over. <laughs> that shit is over. You see what I'm saying? Because don't get, don't get it fucking twisted. Listen to me, dang. Women love sucking dick. It's, it's like a power for them to, to get that reaction. And if you really that nigga, you see what I'm saying? She gonna look at you. She want to look at that response. And some of you niggas be like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, women love sucking dick, bro. Don't, don't, don't ever get that twisted, man. Um, she's not nice to you no more because she don't respect you. She's combative with you because you not it for her anymore. She, she only with you until that other nigga come that she really won't. You're not, you're too predictable. You too soft. This is why she push over on you. Why women push over on, get over on men is because you allowed her to do that. You see what I'm saying? You didn't check her ass when she tried you, when she disrespected you and she, oh, uh, you just, you get upset and get in your feelings. You gotta prove to her that that's not who you are. You don't have to explain yourself to her. You see what I'm saying? You don't gotta prove nothing to her, nigga. You check her ass and tell her, look, dang, I get down. That disrespectful conversation, I don't wanna tolerate that type of energy around me. You see what I'm saying? Let's nick knock that shit out the air right now because um, that's what you want, yeah. You gotta find somewhere else to go. Cause this dang how I get down, love. I'm I'm not for the shit. I don't fuck around when it comes to that. I bring respect and I deserve respect and I and I'm damn sure go get my respect. You see what I'm saying? Um put her ass in her place see women act off of emotion so sometimes they have long stress emotion where somebody could have died that they really loved you see what I'm saying and you said something like get over it they dead you could have cut that girl to the soul because she loved that person more than you so now she's gonna look at you different. So yeah, she might get over and she might be with you, but she gonna find an attitude to nitpick with you every day. She gonna throw that shit up in my in your face, all that shit. So you gotta realize sometimes women can go through a bad day at work and come home and be triggered by you sitting on the couch playing video games. And she just wanna argue and fight with you because now she's looking for a reason to be combative with you. And you gave it to her. You see what I'm saying? She had a bad day at work, nigga. She came home, nigga, and seen you on the couch, nigga. Her house smelled like motherfucking popcorn feet. You know what I'm saying? You got chips and soda just laid on the table and she just had a fucked up day at work. She's like, I don't believe this shit. This nigga fucking playing video games. Bitch talking to her motherfucking self though. This nigga playing video games. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, nigga. Hello? Bitch, why this nigga just sitting up in here? My fucking house smell like Frito Lays and chips and soda. And his fucking feet stanking. He in here playing video games. <laughs> that make a nigga stop playing a video game. Like, who you talking to? Oh, bitch, you just gonna be talking to me when you like this. Guess what? She probably was never even on the phone with nobody. 
You see what I'm saying? She just wanted to be spiteful. She just wanted to be petty. You know what I'm saying? Because she was mad that she had a fucked up day at work, nigga. And boom, got you out. You was just happy. You was in the zone. You know what I'm saying? Playing your video games, nigga. Doing, you know what I'm saying? Doing this thug thizzle. All of a sudden, nigga, she come home with that bullshit. Got you about your body. Got you about your character. At that point, you're not self aware. Drew you up totally out of your character. Now you acting emotional. And now that makes her feel good. You see what I'm saying? Because she came and ruined your fucking day. You see what I'm saying? Then she get in there. I'm gonna fix this nigga some of you. You know, I'm just just want him to feel what I feel. Women will make you feel what they feel because they're mad that we're logical. We don't act off of emotion. That's why they think we're fucking stupid because we don't have it. Well, we do, but some niggas don't know how to use their intuition. You know what I'm saying? They gut feeling. You know what I'm saying? And, like nigga, that, you know, it's just the shit women do, man. It's just it's part of their nature. They don't know no better. They don't even even acknowledge that that's what they do. But when you're aware and you can study people, you can see what they do. You can identify that shit, down, nigga. Um. See, that girl will push you over. Push, man. She will handle you if you allow her to. You see, what I'm saying when she realizes you. that you aim to please her. And you just hand it to her you don't even make her work for that deserve that earn that and you're always in her face you always now she oh babe hold my purse if she was at a, at a, at a store or something she would put it on that table that chair anything but she asks you to hold that purse well oh that's some little boy shit. you scared uh, oh because you're a man you can't hold my purse what would you would have done if I wasn't here? We love you, if you, are. you see what I'm saying? What what purpose do you need me to hold that purse? That's what you gotta ask yourself. You don't gotta tell her that shit. But hey, listen. Just go ahead and sit that purse right there on, on that table right there. It ain't on the floor. You alright? Go ahead. Nah, I don't wanna hear that. Go ahead and put it on there. You know, our, our fact, hey, catch this game. She trying to tie her shoe. But she wants you to hold her purse while she tie her own shoe. What would you do? You gotta play the cool approach. Nah, hold your purse. I got you. Put your put your leg right here. You gotta treat her like a kid. Here, put your foot right here. Boom. You see what I'm saying? That it's that easy. That's what I would have did. I would have tied the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's nothing wrong if you wanna hold your girl purse. If that's what you that's what you want. You know what I mean? I'm I'm never been a, a post holding dude, so I'm not gonna start. If you need to tie your shoe, I got you. I can tie your shoe. I try to tie my children's shoe all the time. Yeah, for sure. But holding your purse can be a sign of a test. Don't get me wrong. Some of like, no, no, no. Shut the fuck up. I didn't talk to some of my homegirls, and this is confirmation that they test niggas. I didn't talk to women, older women, at that to see would he hold a purse. You see what I'm saying? She want to see if you're a sweetheart. If you're an alpha male, she's going to... Most women try to get that out. Going to, women are going to test men because they need to know are you a beta male or alpha male. No, the purse has nothing to do with you're a beta male or alpha male, but at the same time, if you are a macho male, not just by muscle, but non-tolerant for the bullshit, say what you mean and mean what you say type of dude that don't act off of emotion, but acts off of, you know, facts and logic and, and firm about his decisions and, and have confirmation of, of who he is he's not gonna you know he's not gonna fall for anything you see what i'm saying a woman would try you but if you fall for certain shit then that's on you it don't matter what she think of that you know what i mean if that's not what you do then that's not what you gonna do you know what i mean so um and it don't make you less of a man it don't make you a, you know but i do say that i Talk to women who say that this is the things they do. They try you. They know you ain't never hold no purse before. They want to be the first one that you hold that purse for. You see what I'm saying? Um, watch out for signs. Oh, it's the first time for everything. Oh, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, you know, a woman gonna try you. You know what I'm saying? You think you got a good argument for her? She, oh, this is what she do. She love arguing. She love talking shit. Or, but why? No, but that's not a real reason. Why? Why you just don't? And here you go. Oh, because. Uh. 
what did you say? What what did you say? The moment you told her that's not what you own or what you do, and she still come back and say, but why? Like, fuck all that, nigga, why? Like, she's gonna challenge you. You see what I'm saying? And if you explain yourself, she got you. Women don't like weak men. Women like men that's dominant, that's firm. You see what I'm saying? Um, that can give undivided attention and listen when it's their time to pay attention. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta learn how to listen to women too. And, and, and you know, and be, be, be with the shit. You call her out on her shit. You see what I'm saying? Don't be no fucking kiss ass over there. She talking to you about all her little weak ass problems and shit like that. And you just over there agreeing with everything where you can't even check her, put her in her place. Oh yeah. You gonna be one of her girlfriends. She gonna be actually walking them feminist stores with her. Oh, you like this? You like that? Oh, these panties cute, huh? <laughs> and they be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that weak ass shit, bro. So these are signs, man, why women, you know, will handle you if you let them so you know you got to be dominant you know what i mean you got to be firm you got to talk to her with respect you know what i'm saying real niggas talk to them with respect you don't got to play the aggressive role just tell her what you own and what you standing on you see what i'm saying because it's either accepted or rejected because you're not gonna check it that's my time gang i'll see you on the next video let's go man